Welcome to another episode of Ask Elliot. So the question of today is, what is code in the schools? That is a great question, or C-I-T-S, as I like to abbreviate it, and people go, well, what's that? And I, I do that on purpose so people can ask me. Um, so uh, Code in Schools is a really, really great program. Um, they're a nonprofit in Baltimore that focuses on teaching um, computer science uh, to uh, kids, you know, K through 12, through gaming, um, which is just amazing. And like I, when I heard this concept, I, I, I initially just thought it was like the the most out of left field idea ever. And I'm like, wow, that's, whoa, you know, that's amazing. Where you know, how do you reduce the friction of having a kid uh, really get engaged with programming? And um, I look at a lot of you know, programming approaches, books, uh, you know, courses, they're, they're very, you know, not like they're good, but they don't really focus on the issue of what do kids really enjoy. And then when I saw this and I saw their curriculum, I just like, I fell out. I was like, whoa, this is amazing. So, uh, coding schools, uh, is, uh, they're three years old now as a, as a nonprofit. And, um, I am on their board, which is amazing. And I really get to see uh, some of the kind of behind the scenes, uh, uh, you know, uh, points and, and issues that come up. And also I get a chance to really interact with the staff, which is just amazing. Just like, you know, they're actually out there every day and, and really, you know, moving the needle when it comes to computer science, uh, you know, actually getting a foothold in education. Uh, and it's it's really one way that I think is uh, fantastic for uh, how do we deal with the fact that we have this computer science job gap where we have so many computer science jobs but we don't have a lot of people to fill it so one way you do that is start with a pipeline really really early in middle school high school and you start creating more <clears throat> you know kids that are interested in computer science and you know organically you're you're kind of filling that that pipe which is amazing and just makes so much sense so uh, it's a couple of events that we do uh, at Code in the Schools that are really, really great. Um, the one thing that I originally uh, was a part of was Game Jam. And you go, whoa, what's Game Jam? I'll have another video that has a little bit more detail, but uh, the idea of, of Game Jam is that, you know, you will, within a day, and we're, we're, we're talking just eight hours, <laughs> you go from concept to game with a group of kids that are anywhere from like middle school age to high school age. And it's amazing where like, like the amount of creativity, the amount of innovation and, and just how fast uh, the children absorb the material to be able to create a game. It's just the, it's the most amazing thing I would like I have ever seen. And, you know, I would highly suggest you at least check it out. You know, come out for the demos or, or volunteer. You don't really have to be an expert to help. Uh, we actually give training for, you know, the coaches, too, to really come out and, and, you know, allow them to help the kids be successful. And really the idea is, like, the game is by the kids. You know, it's not like, you know, a computer science project where the parents are actually, you know, doing their, their computer, their, um, sorry, their science fair project, where the parents are doing the science fair project. I know most parents are, 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 guilty of that <laughs> you did at least one of your <laughs> child's uh, yearly science uh, fair projects but uh, co uh the code in the schools uh web uh web jam um game jam uh doesn't uh have those uh problems so it's really really great um another thing is uh like the summer uh programs that that run um where you know instead of having your kid uh you know just kind of sit around the house and do nothing they can come out and either help with uh teaching um uh, code in schools curriculum or they can be a part of the program too where they're learning how to you know uh, construct games uh, during the summer so um, I think it's really really great um, opportunities uh, there are more programs I'll link them in the description and if you have any questions please you know reach out to me um, I would say uh, just you know I really wanted to raise awareness about this great nonprofit um, I'm very passionate about it. I, I, I wish I had these opportunities when I was uh, growing up. I wanted to be uh, a game, you know, uh, developer when I, uh, when I was younger. And I looked at all of the math and 
uh, the, uh, you know, vector, uh, like, um, there's a lot of vector-based uh, math that had to be there. Um, you actually had to understand, like, physics to a point. And, like, the programming languages were so, so, like, just the tools uh, just weren't, like, very conducive to, you know, somebody that's, like, 15 trying to learn how to write a game. And now uh, the barrier is super, super low. Barrier entry is, like, you know, just ridiculous. Like, uh, it's a program called Unity uh, that is just amazing, and uh, it really allows you to create, like, uh, a big title uh, with a very small group of people and, and a very small tool set. And you don't really need years and years of experience or years and years of expertise to operate it. And so it's, it's amazing, it's fantastic, and uh, it's just a new world. And, and coding in schools are, is actually one of those, uh, uh, you know, nonprofits that's actually having a positive impact. And they're really, you know, setting up, you know, kids for success because uh, computer science or, or, or some type of uh, technological field, uh, that's really if you're if you're trying to place bets on where the jobs are going to be that that's it, it's going to be there um and, and it looks like by 2012 we're going to have like this gap of like a million jobs in like uh and, and technology that we need to fill and i think they're just related to computer science so uh the question is where are all the coders well we're building them uh, and coders coding the schools is they're they're helping to do that so um I'm going to wrap this one. Uh, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you want me to talk about any other topics or you have additional questions about coding in schools, please reach out to me. Um, and, you know, if you like the video, click the like button. If you uh, want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel, please. I talk about anything and everything. And I also talk about the things that you want me to talk about. So put it in the comment. <laughs> so, uh, again, thank you for your time. And uh, bye.